loves welcome back to another episode with me i am charity lawrence and i tell inspiring stories of successful people on this channel today's video is going to feature the story of femi otadola a nigerian businessman an entrepreneur a philanthropist that lost all he had at a particular point in time and had to start up again so if that sounds like something you'll be interested in watch this video to the end enjoy Femi Otedola was born on the 4th of November 1962 to a former governor of Lagos State, Michael Otedola, who ruled for just one year before the military toppled his government and took over. Femi Otedola had a great primary and secondary education before proceeding to Obafemi Awolowo University in Ife for his first degree. Otedola started his first business at the age of six. The goal was to cut the nails of his father's guests and issue them receipts and charge them for his services and he was actually getting paid this early startup under the watchful eyes of his father set him out for an amazing career after completing his university education otedola joined the family printing business and worked there as a marketing personnel for several years before he went on to establish center force limited a financial trading and investment company thereafter he ventured into the oil and gas sector and eventually founded xenon petroleum oil and gas limited in year 2003. within a short time xenon established itself as one of the major players in the oil and gas sector by distributing petroleum products to several major companies and establishments as it expanded its operations in 2007 xenon went on to purchase 28.7 percent controlling stake in african petroleum limited which led to the appointment of femi otedola as the chairman and the chief executive officer of the company otedola later went on to acquire an additional 29.3 percent of the company's shares which led to xenon's owning a 55.3 percent stake in african petroleum shortly after assuming the leadership position at african petroleum the company recorded a significant rise in its share price with an increase in market capitalization mm -hmm. from 37 billion naira to 217 billion naira in just six months due to the dwindling oil prices in 2008 and 2009 mm -hmm. which happened as a result of global economic crisis african petroleum that is ap recorded a negative financial outcome in 2009. in the year 2010 african petroleum rebranded itself changing its name to fort oil plc Femi Otedola then carried out a massive restructuring of the company, this time focusing mainly on improved corporate governance and technology. As a result of the changes, the company revenue experienced a significant increase and in 2012, the company declared profit at the end of the financial year. In 2013, Otedola financed 57% of Empyrean Limited, a subsidiary of Ford Oil, in the acquisition of 440 megawatts Gerigu power plant from the federal government at a cost of 132 million dollars after recording huge revenue growth in the 2013 and 2014 financial year otedola had once again made his mark mm -hmm. as one of the most outstanding brains in the nigerian business environment in 2008 a shipment containing 1 million tons of diesel set sail heading for the shores of Nigeria. The owner of the vessel, Femi Otedola, chairman of Ford Oil, a petroleum and power generation company, had grown the company to one of the largest in Nigeria, with over 500 filling stations, according to Forbes. The growth had been rapid and profits were at an all-time high. Then disaster struck. Femi Otedola said, and I quote, I had about 93% of the diesel market on my fingertips. All of a sudden, oil prices collapsed and i had over 1 million tons of diesel on the high seas and the price dropped from 146 dollars to 34 dollars that was only the beginning of his problem the naira was subsequently devalued and interest began to skyrocket when the dust settled otedola had lost over 480 million dollars to the plunge in oil prices 258 million dollars through the devaluation of the naira and a further 320 million dollars due to her crane interest and then finally 160 million dollars when the stocks crashed otedola said i had two options either to commit suicide or to weather the storm 
I decided to weather the storm. I just knew it was a phase I had to go through. You see, God prepares you for more incredible things. And of course, experience is the best teacher. So I had to learn my lesson and I took the bitter pill. Just after the global banking crisis had struck, the Nigerian government established the Asset Management Corporation of Nigeria to buy up distressed loans. Otedola's loan was sold to Amcon by the bank. The banks shaved off $400 million from the debt, leaving Otedola with $800 million in the red. Amcon offered him a restructuring deal, which Otedola declined. He opted instead to pay what he owed and start all over again. So he got a reputable firm to value his assets. He had about 184 flats, which he gave up. He was the largest investor in the Nigerian banking sector, which he also gave up. He was also a major shareholder of African Finance Corporation, and he was the chairman of Transcorp Hilton at the time. He was also a shareholder in Mobile Oil, Nigerian Limited, the second largest shareholder in Chevron Texaco, Visa Phone, and several other companies, which they valued and he had to give up to repay his debts. Femi Otedola now had only two properties, his office space and a 34% stake in African Petroleum, which he rebranded to Fort Oil in 2010. In 2014, Otedola bounced back to reclaim his place on the Forbes Rich List and currently has a net worth of more than $1.8 billion. These days, Femi Otedola is much wiser. He put systems in place to prevent a similar collapse of his mammoth business empire. According to Femi Otedola, the day he lost everything was the day he learned his biggest lesson. It taught him that he could overcome anything. Over the years, Femi Otedola has donated billions of naira in the course of financing several humanitarian projects. He donates to the Michael Otedola University Scholarship Scheme that provides underprivileged students across Lagos State with the necessary funding for their higher education. In 2005, he donated 300 million naira to the National Ecumenical Center. He, in 2019, he donated 14 million dollars to save the children fund. In 2020, he donated 1 billion naira toward the fight against novel coronavirus. To sum it up, Femi Otedola's success story is one that shows that experience coupled with a diversity of investments and philanthropy can lead to a successful life. Femi Otedola is currently married with four children, three girls and a boy. Thanks for watching this episode. I'll see you in the next one. Enjoy.